I learned that one of the ingredients in Chick-fil-A fries is actually one of the main ingredients in Silly Putty and some breast implants. Hey, uh, food science babe. Hey, Liam. You know a thing or two about the science of food, right? Yeah, you could say that. What's your take on this? So from her video, did you learn anything about the safety of this ingredient? But it makes you a little bit scared of it, right? Well, that is exactly the intent behind blog posts like this. It's simply just a scare tactic, telling you that there is silly putty in your food because silly putty and some foods contain the same ingredient is a scare tactic. So let's try it out, Fear Mongering 101. Hey Liam, did you know that an ingredient in cookies is also an ingredient in fire extinguishers? Yes I did, and that ingredient is flour. I'm talking about baking soda. So did you learn anything helpful about that ingredient? No, but I certainly learned I have no idea what's in a fire extinguisher. Unfortunately, this is a very effective marketing tactic. To scare you about an ingredient, to get you to go to a website, to read a blog to scare you even more about that ingredient, and to get you to buy things on the website. But what I'm here to do is to give you actual helpful information about the safety data of the ingredients so you can actually make an informed decision and not just be scared of food. So dimethyl polysiloxane can be added to fryer oil to help prevent foaming and splattering when food is added to the hot oil, which makes it safer for employees that are frying foods. So this ingredient was evaluated by the Scientific Committee on Food in 1990, and they agreed with the acceptable daily intake of 1.5 milligrams per kilogram body weight per day, which was previously established by JECFA in 1974. The EFSA panel on food additives and flavorings recently reevaluated this ingredient and established an ADI of 17 milligrams per kilograms by applying an uncertainty factor of 100 to the NOAEL. Therefore, the previously established ADI of 1.5 milligrams per kilogram was with Drawn. In addition, the exposure estimates for the different population groups of all exposure scenarios do not exceed the ADI, and the FDA limits dimethyl polysiloxane to 10 parts per million in food. The panel concluded that there is not a safety concern at the reported uses and levels for dimethyl polysiloxane. This is the type of information that actually helps you make an informed decision about an ingredient and about foods, rather than just scaring you about scary chemical names. What do you think? Are you scared about this ingredient still? Scared? No, but I think some people still might decide not to go to Chick-fil-A for other reasons. Okay, yeah, that's fair.